Hello everybody, Proto Foxy coming back at you again with another video. And uh been a while. You see eight decks on the table here, eight different pauper decks. Uh we are going to head uh we are going to go ahead and continue the help Proto Foxy build his pauper battle box set. Now like I explained in the first video, which I will put in links in the description below, I got this idea from Drac V of the Popper Guild, and in the description below, you will also see a link to where you can get your sweet, sweet Popper Guild slag. Once again, I am on a uh, non Popper Guild play mat because this was given to me as a gift from my uh, best friend for my birthday. I had this is the artwork for Phyrexian Unlife, one of my favorite cards, uh, artwork wise, and uh, I have a tattoo. So he got that for me for my birthday. Much love to him. But anyway, this was an idea that came from the Pauper Guild, uh, one of the Pauper Guild's founders, Drac V, my real good buddy. He also is a co-host on the Common Knowledge podcast. Uh, much love to you, brother. Um, and you've been very supportive to, uh, of me as of late. There have been some issues. Anyone who follows me on Twitter knows this. I'm not going to get into it in the video because it is time to uh, forge ahead and move forward. Um, but... Everybody in the Popper Guild, all my friends on Twitter, all of that, thank you all for your support and kindness. I got so much love for you. I know sometimes I can say some silly things. Sometimes I can say some things you don't agree with. But y'all have been supportive and y'all have been great and I love you for it. So anyway, enough of that. Um, so what we got here, eight more decks from my uh, Popper collection. Um, and you're going to help me build my Popper Battle Box whole process is in in the comment section down below the decks you like comment um i will share the link for the first video once again um just so you guys can go back and watch that now i did make some changes i mentioned in the first video i was ignoring the uh fall from favor ban um ever since lgs has started uh kind of reopening back up to uh safely play paper magic i've been bringing pauper decks i went ahead and just cycled out all the uh, banned cards, which uh, at this point now, right now, is um, Fall From Favor. Um, probably going to see some more bans soon. I kind of ranted about that in my last Deck Tech video. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to get uh, some disagreements on that. But we can all have our opinions and we can all disagree and be respectful of each other. And I definitely, definitely appreciate discussions. But that's just how I feel about things, blah, 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 blah. But what I'm going to end up doing is, is these decks are set up in the way and I did this also with the other decks that were in the previous video because I just always cycling things out looking for better things um they're just set up as if they are part of the meta um even my pet decks and I've got two pet decks in here uh when you've already seen a deck tech on but we're just going to gloss over it quickly um and yeah that's just uh they're just gonna you know there's gonna be eight decks in total in my box I know uh Drac your uh, box is just every single deck you own. <laughs> I want to do smaller run events uh, because my uh, my LGS, uh, to be perfectly honest, which is more an EDH place, EDH and draft. Um, but there are guys that want to play constructed, and there are guys, myself included, quite frankly, are just burned out on EDH. Love the format; it's fun. But um, you know, I uh, keep my personal opinions out of that. Um, I just, I'm burnt out. I'm burnt out. I'm burnt out on the uh, format itself. I'm burnt out on the crowd that surrounds the format and uh, some of the discourse and this and that. And I mean, I still play it. I have God close 20 EDH decks I put a lot of time and money into. Um, but hey, I'd rather play Constructed. Always have, always will. And Pauper is my favorite format. And if I can get other folks, because I am the Pauper guy at my LGS, if I can get other folks into the Pauper format, I will go ahead and do so. And uh, all that good jazz? Well, let's get started here. Let's go ahead and uh, get started into going on about the decks. We've got first, we've just seen the deck tech on this. This is Bant Mutate. And you can see I'm just going to cycle through everything really fast here. I've already seen this. Just kind of look at that. So if you like this deck, want to see it end up in my Pauper Battle Box and play at events at my LGS, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. We've got Cycling Storm, which I believe I've done a deck tech on before. This was actually innovated initially by Caleb Gannon. Uh, much love for this deck. You know, there have been some shifts and changes, but mine's still more towards the uh, original build of the deck. 
And again, not going to be highlighting cards in this video. Just going to go through and just kind of cycle through. See it. We all know what these decks are. This, that, and the other thing. But, uh, yep, that is uh, Cycling Storm or Songs Combo. We've got Is It Blitz. Uh, favorite deck of mine. One of the first popper decks I actually put together. Because I believe I already had the majority of it put together when Blitz was a thing in Standard. So, we've got... And wait a minute here. Am I missing a card? Because there is a combo in here. Ah, oh, no, there it is. Okay, good. All right, started freaking out a bit. But this is Is It Blitz, and you can see it does very Is It Blitzy type things. The Echoing Truth in there, we know why it's there. But, uh, yep. Is It Blitz, one of the first popper decks I put together. Still one of my favorites. Have a lot of fun with it. Black Red Zombies. This is a uh, another deck. I've done a couple of deck techs on because I've updated over time. Uh, this was a uh, brew of my own. Still love it. Still play it. Still comes out of nowhere. People don't expect it because nobody ever thought to do black red zombies. But uh, yeah, deck's a lot of fun. Want to see it end up in ah the other echoing echoing decay to deal with you know what. Want to see it go into my pauper battle box. Go ahead and drop in the comments below. You want to see Rakdos Black Red Zombies. Now, on to Rakdos Control. I uh, saw this build. A friend of mine sent it to me. I forgot who originated this build. But uh, it is not my own. But I saw it. I saw it putting up some numbers. I liked it. Had the cards. Guess what, Lan Guess what Proto Foxy did? put together Rakdos Control and this deck again a lot of fun so that is Rakdos Control I want to see that in the battle box one of eight spots go ahead and comment in the section down below alrighty we've got Simic in fact probably the second or third pauper deck I put together uh, and really only needs a couple of cards to be shifted into to, uh, to be either modern or Legacy Infect. Uh, but yeah, this is an Infect deck. And it co it can go off as soon as turn 2. I've had tier turn 2 more consistently turn 3 kills. But that is Infect. I want to see it go in the box. One of 8 slots. You know what to do. Boom. That is Simic Infect. The current Scourge of Pauper. Um, four Color Affinity. I am running... Uh, the non-black uh, four-color infinity, because I run green for Carapace Forger. But, as you can see, this is current Scourge. Taking a lot of heat off of Flickertron. But, uh, a lot of people want to see this nerfed into an Oblivion. I personally don't think it needs to happen. I'm actually shocked that one creature and a cycle of dual tap lands... Though they are artifact lands, I get it, but a cycle of dual tap lands all of a sudden made this deck the de facto pauper deck. Don't get it, because the only thing I changed was pulling Frogmite out for, uh, what the heck is his name now? <laughs> Sojourner's Companion. I pulled out Frogmite for Sojourner's, that is, uh, Mer Enforcer, 5 through 8, um, and then put in the lands, and that was it. And this deck is now an unstoppable machine. People want to see nerfed into an oblivion. Hopefully that doesn't happen. My opinions is my opinions. We're just going to leave it at that. So, but if you want to see that, hit the battle box. You know what to do. One of eight spots. And finally, we have Naya Slivers. I've done deck tech on this before. This is actually one of my favorite Popper decks currently. I still love this deck. Play the heck out of it whenever I get to play Popper. It is so much fun. And it is slivers. It does slivery things. I really want to see this end up in the battle box, but only one of eight slots. Y'all know what to do. You want to see it go in my battle box? Drop it in the comments below. One of eight slots. And I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to give you all an incentive to help me build my battle box. Because, um, once again, I'm going to drop the first video so y'all can catch up with what other decks I got. I got 
one more video to do won't be eight decks uh whatever i got left um because i believe i've got something to the tune of maybe 24 or 25 popper decks um but uh go ahead and uh get the rest of those done in another video but what i plan on doing for you folks anybody who votes whatever decks get in that get the most votes to the one of eight slots that are going to be my battle box i will take a random person who voted for a winning slot deck so let's say pauper slivers ends up in my battle box i will go ahead and find everybody who voted for pauper slivers assign in a number go through random generator number generator online and pick a winner that winner will get and if anybody follows um my boy drac of the pauper guild notices i gave away quite a few proxies for uh, edh i have quite a bit more i'll give away some uh some dual land proxies i'm not sure what dual lands i got left because i do you and we're talking og duels you know tundra plateau underground see this and that i'm not sure what ones they are but we'll say we'll give away three original oh not original three proxied original dual lands for uh anyone who is going to help me out and anybody who votes for a deck that gets a winning slot will go ahead and uh have a chance to get uh three original duels uh proxies proxies again they are proxy cards three original dual land proxies for your edh deck so we'll do that how about that proto foxy gonna give back to my friends out there so um yeah you guys know what to do drop in the comments below uh vote for your deck i it we got one of eight slots uh the the original video com uh in the description below so you can catch that catch up with that vote on your decks on that i've got one more video to do with the remainder decks and hopefully you guys can uh get at me and help me put this battle box together because i want to take eight decks to run small events my lgs and these decks will play against each other and uh should be good times fun give me a hand and help me build my battle box all that being said wash your hands wear your masks whether or not you are vaxxed to protect yourself and to protect the folks around you be kind to your fellow human beings and i will see you in the next video